Today we're making mofano. So for this dish, you'll need some olive oil, pepper. Uh, they use fresh garlic. I'm using a uh, granulated garlic, some granulated onions, and uh, salt. You'll need some salt water and uh, a, a mud or a mata. That's what they call it, a mata. So. To peel, what you gotta do is you're gonna peel your plantains. To peel the plantains is pretty much very simple. I'm gonna show you two ways to peel the plantains. You cut it like that. You cut it like that. You take your knife and you follow this seam. You go all the way down. And this is the easiest way to do it. You go all the way down and take your fingers and you just you take the skin off and as I said that's the easiest way to do it then you take your knife and you go back and you go all the way around and the skin of your plantains comes right off and the difference between a plantain and a banana because there's it's two different things right so the plantain you can't eat it raw a banana you can eat raw plantain you can eat it raw if it's ripe so to say but it's not recommended so this is a uh, so you clean it up there's some marks from the skin you clean it up like that and then you take your knife and you just cut into it just like that with your knife cut into your plantain as i said this dish is uh served in every restaurant in puerto rico so if you go to puerto rico you're gonna see this on a menu it's called mofano so you soak these in salt water for 15 minutes before you cook them so you just leave them in there 15 minutes before you cook them so if you if you don't feel like doing it that way right all you gotta do take this guy and you go all the way down and it does pretty much the same thing it just takes a longer time and you might waste some of your plantain but it takes the skin off just the same comes out nice and beautiful probably even better than if you use your hand the way i did but in puerto rico they don't use this this is the american way so you take this and you just pretty much just score it all the way down So you just score this all the way down just like that and uh, in Puerto Rico also they use uh, they cook a lot of green bananas so you can't you can't mix both of them up. there's green bananas there's plantains there's ripe bananas there's ripe plantain so they also eat green bananas 
in Puerto Rico. Most uh, island people, they eat the green banana. So you take this, see? Does the same job. And all you gotta do is take your knife, score it, just like that. And you soak this for 15 minutes in the salt water. After 15 minutes, we're gonna add our plantain So. You want to make sure there's enough oil in the pan. So this is our uh, plantains. Right now they're almost done. Then we're gonna take them out and we're gonna, you know, finish the vibe, so to say. So don't burn them. Don't make them too crispy. You just wanna fry them enough where they're like. You know, almost golden brown, but not really. Because then, if you cook them too much, you kind of mess up the vibe. So, as I said, don't don't cook them too much. So I'm gonna take some out, just cause I want to show you another vibe. I'm gonna show you another vibe we do with the plantains. So I'm gonna take these guys out, and then. We'll use that for the mafongo, and then we'll use this for the tostanos. Because that they use the same plantain for the tostanos that they use for the mafongo. So now we're gonna take take the plantains out. So we'll take all these out and then we'll finish the vibe. I'll show you the rest of the vibe. So Let's just take all these out and then we'll show you the rest of the vibe. Okay, so if you take this, right? So you take this plantain, right? And that's what we're gonna use for the mofongo. So if you do this, like you take a piece of paper towel, you crush it like this, right? So that's that same plantain. You crush it and you put it back in the oil like that right this so you get tostanos and that's how they make the tostanos in puerto rico so so that's just one vibe but it's two dishes so to say so let's work on the vibe that we plan to work on so this is our plantain so we're gonna put it in this and uh See, most people, they just put it in there and then it's hard to get it out. So what I do is I take some of my olive oil and I kind of like, you know, just glaze my bowl a little bit. Just a little, not too much. So I just, because then it's easy to get it, get it out of there. So it's not that hard to take it out because you started with some oil. So I take, I glaze my bowl, then I put this in and uh, my, uh, my piece that I use like this is broken. So what I do is I use this and I just smash it. So now we're down to the fun part of it. So you're gonna put some olive oil in there, a little bit of pepper, some salt, because you have to season. Some onion powder. And they put, as I said, they put fresh garlic, I'm putting garlic powder. Because I think, you know, it's the same. And then you gotta give it a nice little mix. And then we'll do the same thing again. We'll just smash it. And it smells so good. And if you see now that we added the oil, it's like more easier to work with. And you could do two of, you could do a one of two things. You could serve it just like this, or you could uh, 
refry. So you could give it like a double fry, or you could just serve as is. So now we're good, and it should. So your, your new end product should look like that. That's your new end product. So we're gonna take this out, and this is where you'd put your meat or your vegetables or whatever you wanna put in here. So to take it out, we'll use a rubber spatula, and we'll just slowly you know, tilt it over like that, and then it should come out. It should look like that. That's how it should come out. So we'll set this aside. Yeah, so if you're in Puerto Rico and this wasn't on the menu, you're not in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rican mofongo. Served up with a little tostanos, just for a vibe. Puerto Rican mofongo, look at it. That's a vibe. And it's as delicious as it looks. And we serve that up with a little bully beef. I'm an island boy. New vibe. <laughs> New vibe, I'm an island boy. Serve that up with a little bully beef. Big vibe, like, share, subscribe. Crazy creative kitchen. What they say? I'm an island boy with a little Puerto Rican vibe. A little more fungo make with some platanos. Island vibe. Yeah, it's an island big vibe. A little more fungo with a little bully beef. That's the vibe. Like, share, subscribe.